Hello again, folks, and welcome to another in my long-running series of how to entertain bored children during the summertime. There are five half-price books within 30 miles of my house, and today, Junior and I are going to go visit all of them. I'm looking for stamps. He's looking for Pokemon and coin books, too. He's getting into coin collecting. But before we do, I wanted to say a special thank you to the wonderful human beings that sent in these and this awesome box. <laughs> On our way out of town, I stopped by the post office box and found these. And so at the end of the video, I am going to open them and see what's inside. But first, let's hit the road. DVDs. All right, so Junior, I don't know if you knew this or not, but my uh, my YouTube channel started at a half price books. Wow. <laughs> it did. I went to a half price bookstore about a year ago. Uh, that one we went to, and uh, I saw two Scott International stamp albums on the shelf and they were asking a hundred dollars for them and I didn't I didn't have a hundred dollars <laughs> but I really wanted those albums and so I went back home and I found a book that I had uh, uh, had on my shelf for a very long time and I decided I was going to try to trade it for stamps and as I started to do that, I realized, well, that would be kind of fun to film. And then, having realized that it would be fun to film, I thought, well, heck, that could be kind of fun to do a YouTube channel. And that's how my YouTube channel started. Cool. And the, one of my very first uh, episodes was that uh, stamp trade I made at Half Price Books. And uh, there's a link in the description below for uh, a link to that video. And, uh, and I traded a book called uh, Big Sur by Jack Kerouac. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> I remember that book. You it, do? It had blue bubbles and the letters were like in big black. That's exactly bubbles. right. That's exactly right. You know what I found today? I found that book on the shelf at Half Price Books. They still have it. They haven't sold it. <laughs> it's been a year, and it's been sitting on their shelf. And so you know what? what? I think I did okay in that trade. <laughs> but isn't that kind of fun? It's a full circle moment where I, you know, my, my YouTube channel is back where it began. And, uh, and here this time, it's you and me on an adventure. That's pretty cool, huh? The treasure hunters have returned. <laughs> and uh, we had a lot of fun. Yes. And here's where we show our finds from the hunt. Do you want to go first? I found two National Park books. Oh. One from tw 2010 to 2015 and one from 2016 to 2021. Awesome. And I also found another two 
quarter books, but these two go from 2004 to 2008 and 1999 to 2003. And I also got one from Washington headquarters from 1932 to 2004. Whoa, and all for about $8. That's awesome, dude. And you found a couple quarters that went in there already, haven't you? Yep. So there's already some quarters in your new quarter book. And you know what I think that means more importantly is you have a new hobby, which I think is very, very cool. Now, one of my old hobbies has been collecting Criterion Collection films, and I found this one. You're not going to watch this film anytime soon, I can tell you that much. But this is a very cool film, uh, very scary. Uh, Criterion Collection number 13, I believe, of the Criterion Collection DVDs. Very, very cool. I did not have this one in my collection, so I'm excited to see that. All right, what about you? What's next? What else did you find? I found a recorder. A it recorder! Is blue and whatever that is. And I'm trying to learn how to how to use a recorder now, so then I have another instrument to play. So you're learning music. Learning music, baby. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, next I have this one. This is very cool to me. It was expensive, $25, but you know what? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a little bit about Philip K. Dick. So this is a story about space and about science fiction and an adventure story. And it's got this really cool artwork on the front, which I think is great. And I collect Philip K. Dick paperback books, and I don't have this one. Or how we got along after the bomb, Dr. Blood Money. How cool is this? It's also in really, really good condition. It's like never been opened, never been used, never been read. Uh, so that is very cool. I did not have this one in my collection, so I was willing to pay $25. Okay, what else did you get? I got an Eevee Pez dispenser, the only Pokemon thing that I've ever gotten on this trip. And <laughs> it has grape, raspberry, and orange Pez. A Pokemon Pez dispenser. Okay, so we did not find Pokemon related things, but we did find the Pez dispenser. We did not find any books or any uh, cards. Okay, Junior, come over here. Let me tell you about this one right here. So I broke my budget. I spent a little bit more than I wanted to spend. And it was because of this book. Just a little paperback book. So I'm going to tell you a story. When I was a boy, when I was about your age, I used to listen to music with Papa, with my dad. And we used to listen to records by Harry Chapin. And what I did not know was Harry Chapin also wrote poems. I never knew that. And so I found this book on the shelf uh, full of his poetry, which is pretty cool. Uh, but you want to know what's especially cool? Is when you open it up, it's signed by him. And so Harry Chapin meant a great deal to me when I was a boy and throughout my life. I still love his art and his music. And here, this is a signed first edition printing, limited printing, of a book I didn't know existed full of his poetry. You know, What's our dog's name? Chapin. It's named after Harry Chapin, buddy. That's how much Harry Chapin means to me. And here, on our adventure, out and about, I found a book of his poetry signed by him. Isn't that cool? That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. But you know what it is? It's not about the stuff we found. It's about the time we spent together and the journey. And now we have a little bit of uh, some cool things to remember it by, right? All right, well, thanks for going with me on this little hunt. Yeah, anytime. I had a lot of fun. All righty, let's get to looking at some stamps. <laughs> I'm especially <laughs> pleased that you all sent these in, uh, seeing as how I was unable to find any stamps on our adventure. But so it goes. Let's see what, uh, what today's P.O. Box has brought me. 
And again, a special thank you. I look forward to returning a package to you all for your thoughtfulness. What is this? Ah, oh, it's a stock book. Cool! I like it already! <laughs> Oh, cool. USA stamps. Oh, nice. Oh, those are nice. Very cool. This is a nice stock book. <laughs> I do appreciate these. Oh, cool. Organized labor, proud and free. <laughs> nice. Oh, I will find a use for this stock book. Thank you. That's cool. That's very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And some nice USA stamps. I appreciate that very much. Thank you for sending it in. Ah, very cool. And this cover is very cool too. Look at those trains. <laughs> oh, I'll read your note off camera. I will do my best to accommodate your requests. Happy to. Oh, sweet! I need this one! Nice! Oh, thank you! Oh, that's fantastic! Whoa, cool! Oh, that's fantastic. I know I need this sheet. That is great. Thank you. Oh, I love the mummy. <laughs> that is so cool. Isn't that sheet just great? Look at those neat stamps. Oh, that's cool. And spiders. I don't think I have the spider sheets. Oh, there's several sheets in here. Nice. Trains! Oh, what cool sh Nice. I love this one. That is very, very cool. And the movie, the filmmaking. Ah, oh, nice! I love sheets. Aren't those great? E.T. Oh, very cool. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> I think we know what's in there. <laughs> Oh, sweet flies! I don't, I don't know that I'd seen this one. Maybe I have, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Fly fishing is so much fun. Oh, cool! What, what a great package. And more. Oh, I wonder if these will fill some gaps. I bet they will. Oh, what fun! I will go through my collection. Thank you so much. Oh, that's fantastic. Does that say Minnesota? I gotta pull this out. Kennedy, Minnesota. Look at that. Huh. Neat. Oh, I will go through these closely. Perfect. There's a beautiful woman. Oh. And there's an inspirational woman. <laughs> and beautiful, I'm sure. Oh, very cool. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, some duck stamps. Nice. Oh, what fun. Oh, that one I might need to soak. Yeah, that got a little stuck. I will soak that. Oh, sweet ducks. <laughs> I think I need some of these. Oh, I think I need some of these. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, very cool. 
Very, very cool. When I get a duck stamp, by the way, that I have a duplicate of, I've been sending it along in trades to all of you. So if I do have some of these, I will include them in packages to y'all so we can just kind of keep, you know, keep fueling our, our little community here on YouTube. Oh, very cool. Thank you. And last but not least is this box. <laughs> I sure do like seeing boxes come through the old P.O. box. <laughs> what fun. Just feels like Christmas morning. <laughs> One of you pointed out that my knife is dull. You're not wrong. <laughs> Too many openings. Oh, what have we here? Oh, nice. Oh, thank you. You sprung for cups of coffee. <laughs> I love it. You'll for a YouTube video. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. Oh, this looks great. And it smells good too. Oh, oh that's very thoughtful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let, take a look at your note. Oh, you sent some stamps too? Oh, what fun. I'll look at your note off camera here. <laughs> You call looking for stamps pearl diving. I think that's fantastic. Oh, what fun. Thank you so much for the note. Is that a ship? Oh, those are cool. Oh, I love that. Oh, look at all these ships. Oh, neat. Very, very cool. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Wow, how thoughtful of you. Oh my gosh, I don't have a lot of these. These are so cool. You know, I might save these and save this packet for a, a video another video down the road. I am. I'm going to do a separate video uh, on my ship stamps at some point and I will feature your packet in that because this is awesome and I want to take my time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's so cool. Oh, very, very nice. What is in here? <laughs> So thoughtful. Oh, wow. Look at those great Canadian stamps. For my birthday video album, you said. That's very thoughtful. Oh, that's nice. I am going to put together a nice package for you, my friend. Take a look in the mail down the road. It will arrive to you soon. Wow, those are great cancels. Look at that sock on the nose. The beaver! <laughs> oh, I love that set. That's gorgeous. Is that new? Wow, that looks new. Nice. Oh, the eight, eight set new? Oh, what a great stamp. Wow, that is a nice stamp. Oh, thank you. That is a killer st You didn't. Is that a 50 cent new? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Look at that stamp. All right, you're going to have a very nice package arriving in the mailbox because that is a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp. 
Wow. Oh my word, I am I am over the moon. Wow. <laughs> I love the community we're building here on YouTube, folks. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And I hope you liked today's video. If you did, go ahead and like it and do subscribe to the channel. It means a great deal to me. Until next time, take care.